Hello, YouTube. Kind of missed uh, Muscle Car Monday yesterday, so uh, I had these setting out for it. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and crack them open, and we'll check out some uh, some other Hot Wheels variations of it. But uh, this is a Plymouth 1970 Plym. Plymouth Superbird. Uh, most probably a lot of collectors' uh, favorite car, or a car that a lot of collectors definitely like to collect. Uh, 2006 first edition. So this would have been a new casting variation in 2006. So, we have these two variations. Don't know how many different variations it came out in the first year, in 2006. But they both have a, a flat vinyl top, which, are, which is pretty cool. I absolutely love the Superbird. I still need the uh, I don't have a Richard Petty version. One of the blue ones, 43. I've just uh, never been able to pick one up. Love that color, though. Love how they blacked out the lights like that. I know they're pop-up lights to begin with. Very awesome. This reminds me a lot of the Johnny Lightning tooling for it. The old Johnny Lightning tooling. Uh, Johnny Lightning has several different toolings. Uh, their gold series from 2012 or so. It was pretty freaking awesome. I think it was an uh, old Ertl one or something. It's a same year, first edition, 2006, but in green. Ah, oh, I might have all three of the first edition. The yellow one's a first edition in yellow, 2006. So that's pretty cool. not realize I had all three. I used to have a thing hanging on my wall that I kept carded cars in when I first started collecting Hot Wheels. So I would have bought these carded at a flea market when I first started collecting Hot Wheels again in my adult age. So look at that. I don't see them that many spokes on a Hot Wheels very often. Looks really good in yellow. For some reason, yellow is like kind of fitting for the Plymouth. So is this green. So we'll go ahead and crack open another yellow one. This is Muscle Mania from 2010. It's yellow with a white race stripe. Sorry about that. Knocked everything over. Well, I'm just knocking everything out. Oh, that was a little box of Micro Machines, too, so they just went everywhere. Alright, so. I have this green one. I think it's a first edition, but it has a faster than ever wheels. 
I'm pretty sure it's the uh, same release. They must have had two wheel variations. I do got some loose ones we'll run through. And, uh, I gotta get some NASCAR display cases and a wall where I could put up all my favorite Hot Wheel castings and display them like the Superbird, the 55 Gasser, and the Silverado and different ones. Now this is Muscle Mania 2012. And this says 426 CI cubic inch. And we have another one from 2012 in purple. Metallic purple looks really good. All wheels put good detail on this one. The headlights are separate. This one, uh, they're flat, so they're they're a different color. So they are separate on this too. Looks really good in the purple. Sorry, this car had a little bit of dirt on it. That wipe off. Looks amazing in this purple, though. Got a white and orange. Be the color variation for this banana looking one. Yellow and white. Looks like a peeled banana. Uh, reason these are stored in a box uh, my Hot Wheels collection right now I keep in the two-sided I don't know they're Plano case type thing but they're two-sided and they hold like 24 cards or something on each side uh, this right here this is all my Firebirds this is how I have my Hot Wheels collection organized by the castings I collect. So we got some Chevelles on this side. More Firebergs down here. Sooner or later the whole thing will be Pontiac Fireberg. These are just here temporarily. Just like the Chevy 2's. But this casting is too long to fit in there. So you can't store them in there. Some compartments will fit in sideways. And uh, there is a double compartment in each of them where you could put one. But I like to keep them all together. Got a red one here. Red racing stripes. There was a super treasure hunt of this, which I do have the super treasure hunt, but I do not have a loose one. Uh, I do have this. Uh, I think this was back in the day when this might have been a regular treasure hunt. I think it was. I'm pretty sure. Somebody tell me down in the comments, was this just a main line or was this a regular treasure hunt? I think regular treasure on set it on them. 
So that might have just been a main line, but that's definitely a lot of people's favorite release of it. And I absolutely love the Super of this. I've always wanted to crack it open. Maybe someday I'll be able to crack it open. I would absolutely love to, but really hard for me to crack open a lot of cars, especially Supers. Did I show the orange and white one? Just kind of sitting up here loosely. I can't even remember now. No, I showed the banana one. Yeah, because I, I held that one next to it, saying it was similar. Or color variation. We got a black one with blue flames. Blue windshield. No. Ah, it's a clear windshield. Blue interior. That's what made it look blue. Definitely an awesome release of it. I think this is, came out last year, a year before. We have the color variation, orange with flames. I almost think that was a color exclusive for somewhere. Could be wrong about that. Don't have any more with flames, so. There was three color variations of that. I do not have all three. And there was this one from the 50th set. The black and gold 50th. Pretty cool. Got gold base. I'm running out of room for these. green one here this is a really really cool like metallic green paint job I had a custom of this that I painted over it with like a metallic paint and it it just turned out amazing it was like a color shifting paint job over it and just really looked awesome pretty cool looking release And this is one of the Target throwback ones, which is a better release of it because I really like all these racing graphics they put on it. The Champion Racing and Goodyear and, and like a year or two old, sold it at Target. I got three more and I'm about out of room, so another blue one. Actually, another blue one. The first blue one. What am I saying? Another blue one. Another one, I should say. Another Plymouth. But the first blue one. Oh, this might be the Dodge Daytona. Why did I say Daytona on it? Huh. Does not say on the bottom. It says Chrysler. Made in Indonesia. Is this even a Hot Wheels? Yeah, it says Hot Wheels on it back there. Alright. Does have a tolling number, 2012. That base looks different than the other ones. I think that's a Dodge Daytona. Which is, in my eyes, it's a Plymouth Superbird. I think, yeah, that's a Dodge Daytona too. Oh, can't tell. Dodge Daytona, maybe? I think the Dodge Daytona has a big fat base on it for the front tires. And the Daytona, or the Plymouth, has a smoother base. So you can see the difference, the front axle rise, which... 
I like the Plymouth a little bit better than the Dodge Daytona because of that. And yeah, I just see Chrysler. I don't see, don't say Dodge Daytona. That might be so they can label it as a Plymouth too. Two more and then we got a really special one so that one pretty sure it was a fast and furious walmart release like one of the main lines but they charge you like two dollars and 12 cents a car or something but awesome release or it could have been the five pack might have came in a five pack probably did here's one it's more of a purple like it's it's crazy paint. Paint looks beautiful. It's not quite a burgundy. It's more of a purplish, but definitely beautiful paint job. It's a little brighter than this one. Or darker. It's darker but more metallic. I don't know. I like this one much better. But very similar releases. Uh, it looks like they painted headlights on that one. Got door handles painted on. And the last one I have to show you, which we will not be cracking open. Don't think I'll ever be able to open it. But it's definitely the nicest one I have. And it is a Plymouth Superbird RLC release with rubber tires. Uh, got this in a trade with J Money Wheels years ago. And it's a piece that I value and treasure. And I'm very, very happy and fortunate to have it in my collection. Uh, as long as I collect die cast, I'll never sell this. Unless I ever got like a really nice carny case that I decide to dedicate to RLC pieces, I'm probably never going to crack this open. And a lot of stuff would have to come into line in my life before I would ever be able to de to buy a carny case and that designate it to RLC pieces and everything else. If I got a Carney case now, I think I would have to dedicate it to either Green Machines or Ultra Reds. And I'd probably do the Ultra Reds because I would put it above wherever I would display all my mainline burgundy cars. So the Ultra Reds, and I kind of have a setup planned out, but uh, they take years. It takes years to put together a good setup to display your pieces and everything else um i know i have a lot of good display ideas i just got to find the time to be able to do them so this is definitely my favorite one absolutely love this piece the main reason I don't crack RLC pieces is because I don't want to handle the paint. So the paint on them is Spectro Flame paint. Just for moving around the blister and the car rocking back and forth can scratch the roof and stuff on them. So I handle them with great care. And uh, it, they'd be better off being cracked open. It'd be easier to take care of them, but you don't want to get oil from your hands on them. You'll want to wear like white jewelers gloves or whatnot with it, because I have I have several RLC pieces that this came from Heavy Metal One Sixty Fourth years ago. Traded in this. I've never been able to crack it open. It's not because of the value, because these RLC pieces, especially the Hot Wheels Real Riders, some of these go for crazy money. So if you're ever at a die cash show and you see a good deal on one, even at like 50 bucks or maybe even 75, it's still a good deal. On eBay, these go at auction for 
a couple hundred bucks. Depends on who's bidding. Anywhere between 150 to 250 and even loose. I've seen them go for close to that, so it didn't make a huge difference being loose. But that's another one I would love to crack open, but just haven't been able to because a lot of the nostalgia of it is a is a card and how it says farm truck and everything else. And without the card to go along with the truck, I think it takes away from the truck and what it is and what it represents. I mean, I would know it was farm truck. So in a way, it doesn't. But I just think the card adds a lot to it. I like to display it with the card. So. Oh. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe. Let me know which one was your favorite. Out of the Plymouth and Daytonas. Awesome, awesome mainline casting from Hot Wheels. Let me know down in comments which ones I'm missing. But definitely a lot of them. Nineteen of them. Almost twenty. Nineteen. Well, thanks for watching, and have a good one.